Hi everybody, it's Fraboy Master back from Teenage Mutant Ninja Scrubs and simply as I've been putting up videos on the story of a skill build I thought it would be prudent to put actually up um, a copy of the actual build that I'm running right at the moment Now it is interchangeable with different mods and stuff like that so you're able to change a few things in and out on it um, But quite simply, it's Barrett's Inventive, 4 piece tack, everything's old skill power and there's skill mods in there along with skill haste and performance mods are all seeker mind damage but we'll run through the build anyway and you can see exactly what's happening so we've got some enemy armor damage on there, skill haste on there as well and we've got electronics with skill haste and one electronics with skill power on the inventive backpack we're looking at skill power and the mods are electronics with skill haste and seeker mind damage for the performance mods on to the mask, and the mask is skill power, damage to elites, and um, electronics with skill haste. On to the gloves, the uh, gloves are again rolled uh, enemy armor damage, we've got skill haste on there as well. And on to the holster, and the holster's a bit of a lame one, so I'm looking to get this a bit better, but it's old skill haste, and it's got any seeker mind damage mods in there as well. But on to the knee pads, we're on skill power, and we've got a seeker mind damage mod and electronics mod with skill haste, and the mask is skill power with damage to elites and electronics with skill haste. And that basically translates onto the sheets as I'm going to just go into it in a wee second here. So just going to run down the sheet here. We've got firearms, electronics, weapon damage, critical hit chance, critical hit damage, headshot damage, accuracy, all that kind of good stuff. And just as we go down, we're going to obviously hit the details that are relevant to a skill build. So I think we've got assault rifle damage in there as well. And we're looking at damage to elites is only 9% and enemy armor damage is only 33.5% but that is still a good percentage to help you out with your power. Skill haste is 50% as you saw there. And I don't think we've actually got any wasted talents in regards to uh, increased kill XP or anything like that which is actually a nice wee change on this build although it is still needing to be min-maxed again. And that's basically the build. Now onto the actual talents and how those equate. <clears throat> As you can see here, the BFB stickies back in 16 seconds, Seeker Minds are back basically in 10 seconds. And again, these are without any stacks or any talented items being propped on your talents. And it pretty much is the same story for most of the talents in, in there as well, which is not too bad. As you can see, the talents are all coming back really, really quickly. Uh, the skills, I should say, come back really, really quickly. And it's all looking pretty good. The ultimate <clears throat> are actually is ready in three and a half minutes, that equates to. So the ultimate's always available every three and a half minutes, whether I've got cooldowns or not as well. So that definitely helps with the build. And it's all pretty good. But now what I've actually done here is put on some stacks and it's just to show you what the changes are on the talents and skills themselves. So it just reduces them by about a second or so. It's not a great deal. But it's all, you know, it's all good. It all definitely helps in the long run. And here we're going to show you what that, that equates to when you've got a talented stacked as well. And as you can see, we're you know, well under 15 seconds there. and well under 10 seconds for the Seeker Minds as well, so it's not too bad. But I think actually I'm <clears throat> going to kill another enemy here just to actually show that skill tree again. I think I didn't catch it quick enough to show you all the, the mods. Yeah, sorry, all the skills shown as uh, the proper value. So here we go. So the Values have dropped down to 14.5 seconds and just over 9.5 seconds for the Seeker Mine. 
And that's the scale build trips. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you in the next one. And sorry, before I go, um, if you like the video guys, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and you know, do all that crazy stuff. Go into the comments, tell me what you think. And you know, that's pretty much it. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you like the scale build. I've been showing lots of vids and clips on it, and I thought it was, you know, about time I actually did the scale build to show you what it looked like. So again, sorry, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care now. Bye.